bright duty every student matters in this present video i will be sharing uh, content on factors affecting personality and i will be discussing the same with you today so moving to what are the different factors which can have an impact on a person's personality first one which we need to understand is about our genes about heredity about things that we have inherited from our parents from our ancestors so physical physical structure is usually one thing that we inherit from our parents whether we are short heighted whether we have you know a very good height or not attractiveness is also inherited from your parents gender is determined by the genes of your parents temperament whether you have an easy temperament a difficult temperament that also comes from the genes that you have inherited muscle composition reflexes how active you are as a person energy level biological rhythms also they are all you know inherited from your parents now there is documented evidence which also suggests that traits personality traits such as shyness personality traits such as your being introvert or extrovert in terms of you know having a personality type then traits such as you know always fearing something especially when it comes to something which is new so a different thing a change which comes in your way a challenge which comes in your way or when you feel you know very anxious about things so your parents if their first response to a new thing is usually panic anxiety worry preoccupation with the same kind of thoughts then it generally passes on to the offspring also if your parents are you know people who are usually distressed in nature they get upset with small things then that also it is seen that it passes into the offspring so it's most likely caused by inherited genetic characteristic so heredity to a very great extent plays a very important role in the kind of personality you develop now there is a question and this question states that if personality characteristics they were completely dictated by heredity they would be fixed at birth only and no amount of experience or experiments could in any way alter them right for example if we say that if you were a relaxed person and an easy going child because of your genes and it would not be possible at all for you to change your characteristics so as you grow older that is with experience or with some kind of intervention some kind of therapy some kind of guidance assistance no change could be brought about in the kind of characteristics that you have inherited from your parents is that true this is the question the answer to this question is no your genes to a very great extent determine the kind of personality you will eventually develop at the same time your experiences will shape up your personality your education will shape up your personality the kind of people you will be in touch with that will shape up your personality whether you have positive experiences at your school at your college at your workplace if you have negative experiences that is going to determine the kind of direction your personality takes up so it's both heredity as well as your environment which shapes up your personality now when we talk about environment what are the different factors which can have an impact there are some of them which are listed over here first of all the culture that you are raised in now if it is an individualistic culture that is the culture which is prevalent in the west they basically focus on their own individual goals so they um kind of promote you know competition among people your own self interest they do not really have those kind of values in which you know you yes you take care of the elderly people but then their lifestyle is totally different so if there is a child who is you know who grows older he's around 80 90 years of age he starts working along with that he is studying also 
he may take a separate house and stay so that's a difference in the culture which is there on the other hand when we talk about asian uh, nations there is a totally different kind of culture which is followed which is referred to as collectivist culture in which it's more about brotherhood it's more about collective goals rather than individual goals so it's more about teamwork brotherhood right especially in india right taking care of elders a lot of respect to elders kind of you know as much as possible staying with your parents not going away i mean like if you are in the same city not taking a separate house and staying you know yes if you're going for higher studies to some separate city that's a separate scenario then you will obviously stay separately but otherwise being close to your family is more about our culture about asian culture so what kind of culture you are brought up in that is going to determine the kind of personality you have if you are from a culture where you know your own expression of thoughts have been kind of suppressed nobody has given voice to them then you'll have a different kind of personality if your culture is uh, you know that kind of culture which has really motivated you to express your opinions your thoughts your perspectives and place it in front of other people then you're going to have a different kind of personality what kind of norms are prevailing in your family right what kind of norms are there the group norms when it comes to the peers that you're interacting with friends norms what kind of social groups you have been you know interacting with the kind of social interaction that you have had is it like a lot of social interaction that you've had in your life or too little social interaction then the quality of that social interaction the nature or quality of people with whom you have interacted what kind of personality they have what kind of temperament they have are they people who are very warm and welcoming are they people who are usually frustrated are very hostile in nature have negative attitude to you know a lot of things usually to a lot of people who are maybe from a different caste or religion are you from a culture where you know um, education is taken in a very negative light where it is considered that there are going to be a lot of differences in terms of gender the way you treat a particular gender is going to be totally different from the way you treat a particular gender is it that you are from a culture that where you you know um give more importance or love to a particular gender as compared to another gender which means there is a lot of inequality which is existing in your culture and society all these kind of things are going to determine whether you have a submissive kind of personality or a personality which is very well adjusted and developed so environment to a very great extent plays a role in the development of your personality now apart from this the situation also different situations are going to determine you know what aspect of personality you put forward in front of people for example in some situations where you know it's like an interview kind of situation you have gone to a particular organization for your selection there are going to be a number of constraints upon the kind of personality aspect you present before people the panel but if you are in a very comfortable kind of situation let's say you've gone for a picnic in a public park with family with friends then there isn't going to be any constraint and you are going to uh put across in front of other people your real personality right uh the core traits of your personality so situation also has an impact on what aspects of personality you bring forward in front of people okay now moving towards questions which are based on this particular topic now towards the end of the chapter you have a list of questions uh under the category of short answer questions there is first question which is what factors affect personality second question is how does heredity as well as environment influence personality third is why is heredity considered as an important factor that affects personality